what about if we could talk for just yeah. a brief moment about the human of Putin and power? You are clearly fascinated by power. Mm -hmm. Do you think power changed Putin? Do you think power changes leaders? If you look at the great leaders in history, whether it's LBJ, FDR, mm -hmm. do you think power really changes people? Like, is there a truth to that kind of old proverb? It reveals. I think that's what it is. It reveals. So Putin was a much more deft politician much more amenable to the West. If you think back, you know, to 2001 and more, right when he came, because he was still, because at that time, his biggest problem was intra-Russian politics, right? Mm -hmm. Like it was all consolidating power within the oligarchy. Once he did that by around like 2007, there's that famous time when he spoke out against the West at the Munich Security Conference. I forget when it was. Mm -hmm. And that's when everybody in the audience was like, whoa. And he was talking about like NATO encirclement and like, we will not be beaten back by the West. Very shortly afterwards, like the Georgia invasion happens. And that was like a big wake up call of like, we will not be pushed around anymore. I mean, he said before publicly, like the worst thing that ever happened was the fall. Or what did he say? It was like the fall of the Soviet Union was a tragedy, right? Yeah. Of course, people in the West were like, what? I'm like, I get it, right? Like they were a superpower. Now they're population is declining like it's like a petro state it sucks like i understand um i understand like how somebody could feel about that i think it revealed his character um which is that he i think he thinks of himself probably as he always has since 2001 as like this benevolent almost as a benevolent dictator. He's like, without me, the whole system would collapse. I'm the only guy keeping these people in, I'm the only guy keeping all these people in check. Most Russians probably do support Putin mm -hmm. because they feel like they support some form of functional government and Stability, they view it as yeah. like a check yeah. against that, which is a long, you know, has a long history within Russia too. So I don't know if it changed him. I think it just revealed him. Um, because it's not like he, I mean, he has a bill, you know, Navalny has put that like billion dollar palace and all that. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Putin does that for show. He doesn't seem like somebody who indulges in all that stuff. Or no. maybe we just don't see it. Like, I don't know. Well, I don't, yeah. I, I, it's very difficult for me to understand. I've been hanging yeah. out, thanks to Clubhouse. <laughs> uh, a lot of, I've gotten to learn a lot about the Navalny folks and it's been very educational made me ask a lot of important questions about what, um, you know, question a lot of my assumptions about what I do and don't know. But I'll just say that I do believe, you know, there's a lot of the Navalny folks say that Putin is incompetent and is a, is a bad uh, executive, like is bad at basically running government. But to me- Well, why do Russians not think that? Right? Is it, well, well, they, they, they probably they say would propaganda. say it's the press. Right. Yeah, they would say the control. There is, there is a strong either control or pressure on the press, but I think there is a legitimate support and love of Putin in Russia that is not grounded in just misinformation and uh, propaganda. There's there's legitimacy there. Mostly, I try to remain apolitical and actually genuinely remain ap apolitical. I am legitimately not interested in the politics of Russia of today. I feel I have some responsibility and I'll take it uh, that responsibility on as I need to, but my fascination as it is perhaps with you in part is in the historical figure of Putin. Mm -hmm. I know he's currently president, but I'm almost looking like as if yeah. I was a kid in 30 years from now reading about him, studying the the human being, the the games of power that are played that got him to gain power, to maintain power, what that says about his human nature, the the nature of the bureaucracy that's around him, the nature of Russia, the people, all those kinds of things, as opposed to the politics and the manipulation and the corruption and the control of the media that results in misinformation. You know, those are, those are the bickering of the day, just like we were saying, mm -hmm. what will actually be remembered about this moment in history. Totally. He's a transformational figure in Russian history, really. Like the bridge between the fall of the Soviet Union and the chaos of Yeltsin, that will be how he's remembered. The only question is what comes next and what he wants yeah. to come next. That's, I'm always, fat. I'm like, 
He's getting up. How old is he? Sixty something. Yeah, right? sixty. So he would be. I think he would be eighty. So with yeah. the with the change of the uh, constitution, he cannot be president until uh, six, uh, twenty thirty four. I think it is. Uh -huh. So he would be like eighty something, and he would be in power for over thirty years, which is longer than Stalin. So, but he still, he still seems to be. He seems fit. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to be around for a long time. But this is a fascinating question that you yeah. ask, which is like, what does he want? I don't know. Yeah, that's the question. I don't, I, uh, th and this is where I think, given all of his behavior and more, I don't know if it's about money. I don't know if it's about enriching himself. Obviously, he did to the tune of billions and billions and billions of dollars. But I think he probably, he's as close to like an actual Russian nationalist, like at the top, who really does believe in Russia as its rightful superpower. Everything he does seems to stem from that opposition to NATO, intro to Syria, like wanting to play a large role in uh, affairs, deeply distrustful and yet coveting of the European powers. Like, look, I could describe every czar, you know, in those yeah. same language. Like every czar falls into the exact same category.